Is your iPhone doing random things like it's got a mind of its own? Is it typing random letters like there's a ghost or someone's controlling it? Or is it even opening random apps? This is the most common question as an iPhone repairer that I always get asked. So what I'll do in this video is clarify a few things, show you some quick things on how you can possibly fix it, and hopefully we can get your phone up and running. Okay, quickly, before I start, I've got 10 $20 Amazon gift card vouchers. I have to give them away. It's simple. All you need to do is subscribe to this video, and at the end of the video, I'll explain how you can enter. It's a very simple competition, and as I said, I simply have to give them away. The phone is doing random things. Most people think there's a setting you can fix. Most people think that it can't be ever related to their cracked screen. And also, sometimes people think it's actually a software-related issue. So first of all, what I'll explain is the three categories of phones and how we can address each category of phone uh, to, to get it fixed. So the first category is You've got an iPhone that has never been repaired, never been damaged, and all of a sudden, it's just doing these random things. So it's in good condition. What it could be doing is triggering the touch capacitor. Uh, I'll explain what that does in a second, but uh, what you need to do is clean it, and then hopefully nothing will be triggering. Once you've done that and things aren't still improving, turn off your phone and turn it back on. It's simple reset can actually fix the actual issues in most cases. Hopefully, it's not temporary, but if your phone isn't damaged, there is a good chance that it could be a permanent fix. So fingers crossed, there's no guarantee with this, but I do see this solution work for a lot of phones. The second category is the phone has a cracked screen, but it's still usable. And uh, I, I get this a lot, and what people will say is that the phone has a, had had a cracked screen for a while and all of a sudden it hasn't got any more damage but now it's started to do the random things. Now, what you need to understand is that most of the time, and when I say most of the time, all the times when I've seen a, an actual phone with a cracked screen, the cracked screen has caused the touch capacitor to pretty much do these random things. Now, unfortunately, the only solution for this is to actually replace the screen on your phone. But once again, there's two things you can try and the two things are clean the screen and the second is actually turning off your phone and turning it on again. Now, this does, in more than 50% of cases, fix it. But the bad news is, it's gonna be a temporary fix. So it might get you by for a few minutes, few hours, or even a few days. But the bad news is, most of the time, you will get that issue of the touch screen going a bit crazy again. Now, the third category is, the phone was previously repaired by yourself, a repairer, or even Apple. And then all of a sudden, after the repair, it started doing this weird thing. So you've got a perfectly working phone that has been repaired and now it's starting to do the random things. Now this is very common in most situations. If you go to a third party repairer, a non-authorized Apple person, it could have been something simple as a loose connection, a damaged cable when they put the new screen in, or possibly even a faulty screen. Now this is what I recommend you do contact the repairer that did the actual repair and explain the situation. Now, if the repairer for any reason is skeptical that possibly the repair caused this, you just simply need to ask them to put another screen on in front of you or either put your original screen on so you can test it and then you'll see that, and when I say 99% uh, of the times in all situations that I've seen, most of the time it is to do with the screen that was put on, whether it's faulty. So it is definitely something that you need to address to the repairer and that will be able to be fixed. Now people confuse the actual LCD screen as it being the part that detects the touch, but no, that gives you the display and, and all the menus and stuff like that. You've got this little grid that's above the LCD that's feeling it, and then underneath is the LCD. So what usually happens is, 
in most cases, if you've got a broken phone, there'll be little pressure points on there. And when those pressure points from cracked glass or, or, or warped frames or even just the actual, uh, the, the pressure of the glass being cracked on there pushes against it, that'll trigger it. Then all of a sudden you're getting these apps that are randomly opening. That's why this happens and that's why the only solution is to replace it. For those that have actually taken it to a repairer, picked it up and and their screen's fine with no cracks and it's doing this, is that in most cases you'll see this occur with third-party repairers. Most third-party repairers are either using refurbished parts, which isn't bad, or third-party parts, which isn't bad as well. They, they, they do the same job, but the thing is, is that obviously these parts will be mass-produced and the quality uh, testing is not as thorough as, say, the original manufacturer. So therefore, there is a high percentage that will be faulty. And also, there'll be a high percentage where it could be just the, the repairer themselves could have damaged a cable, or even in most cases, it could be a loose connection. Uh, this in most cases is because of the third party repairer. It's not that they're a bad repairer, it's just obviously they don't have the tools and quality testing that say, the manufacturer does. So the great thing is I've given you a few tips on possible fixes that even though they might be temporary, they might get you by or they might not even work at all. However, the most important thing for you to take is that the phone screen generally needs to be replaced. Also, as I said before, 10 $20 Amazon gift vouchers. All you need to do is click subscribe, okay? And once you've clicked subscribe, I've got a link in the description below that takes you to a Gleam competition. Every 10 people, one person will be drawn for a, a, an actual gift voucher. So it's good odds. It's one out of 10. Hopefully today this video was very helpful and thank you very much for watching again.